Hi, this is Lisa, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about Twitter and how I use it. Um, I use Twitter primarily for keeping up on things that are happening with education, education reform, and technology for education. So this is, is my account, and I follow a number of people. Some of them I found at conferences, and I actually got to meet them. Other people were in classes with me or are in class with me. Some are students who were particularly interested in these issues. And as I read those people's tweets, they often refer to other sources too until I can follow um, all the people who would be helpful to me in learning more and who might be interested if they want to follow me in learning more from me. You can see that one of the things that people do on Twitter a lot is they post links to articles that are of interest to them and they also use these which are called hashtags like um, ed reform is an example of a hashtag you use a little hash mark and then this tag if a group of people are all using the same hashtag to talk about the same topic you can actually um, sort the tweets by the hashtag so that you can follow a particular a conversation or a particular topic. Now, this is the standard uh, Twitter interface here, but if I've got a lot of things I'm following, uh, a lot of hashtags I'm following, or different groups of people that I follow, maybe some of them might be personal friends, and some people might be from my college, and some people might be uh, high level experts, but other people, um, maybe I just read their articles. I find it easier to use a product called Seismic. Um, Seismic is really good not only for Twitter but for people who have a lot of disparate accounts but they'd like to see everything happening in one place. So uh, here I'm able to set up columns for like for example this is a hashtag for the program for online teaching certificate class. I can set up a hashtag for that and just follow in this column the um, the tweets that come up related to that particular tag. But for people who have a lot of different accounts um, in a lot of different places, I don't have it activated to do this, but you can activate it to bring in some your Facebook stuff, Google Buzz, LinkedIn, Chatter. Um, it will accept those and turn those into um, sort of a one-stop shopping for some of the social networking and professional networking you might want to do. Now, in my discipline, there are also people who use Twitter for their classes. I'm a historian, and this is an example. There's a project called Twistery, um, where there are reenactments of various historical events, and people use Twitter to play them out. Uh, it's an interesting way of, of doing history. This is an example, Patriot Cast, and they are reenacting the American Revolution. They started last year in 2010 and are going day by day and similarly they have um, on the Patriot cast they're using Twitter to do all their posts from the point of view of different people who participated in the American Revolution. So there's a lot of different things you can do with Twitter both for your own personal development, um, professional development and uh, with your students uh, for creating projects that are appropriate to this technology. So these are some of the things that I use Twitter for.